Thanks for staying with us. I'm Akshay Tandon. Members of the Canadian Space Agency made a stop at the University of Guelph to visit a team who is working on ways to grow fresh food in space. Joining me now to discuss this is Mike Dixon. He is the director of the Controlled Environment Systems Research Facility at the University of Guelph. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. First of all, congratulations, because you are the top 10 finalists and you had the Canadian Space Agency visit you today. What was it like? It was kind of fun. Uh, the students were really enthusiastic. They put a lot of effort into uh, getting ready for this uh, competition, this contest. And uh, we're, we feel hopefully confident that we'll move on to the next phase and uh, continue. So this is very fascinating. Tell us about how this research is, is going and what are you working towards growing food in space? Actually, we've been working towards that for over 25 years here at the University of Guelph. We've been uh, looking at the next generation of technology to take food into space for because food determines how far from Earth we can go and how long we can stay. But here in Canada in particular, uh, the prospect of uh, growing food in harsh environments is something we come by quite honestly. So the opportunity for technology transfer from uh, initiatives like this to the agri-food industry sector in Canada is very real. So we're talking about growing food in, of course, contained areas, uh, in contained environments that are controlled, which are, of course, uh, uh, friendly enough for food to grow. But does that mean we're talking about... Uh, a surface in the space, or are we talking about doing all of this inside capsules? It, it has to happen inside a, a very highly controlled environment okay. in order to, because, you know, the vacuum of the moon or the almost vacuum of Mars, plus the miserable temperatures and radiation challenges that we'd have on those circumstances, uh, demand that you put this in a box and our objective, and has been since 95, since the program started, uh, is to come up with the technology requirements uh, to contain a food production system and have it doing its job reliably indefinitely. So how far have we come with this research? If I were to ask you how successful we have been so far, you are, of course, uh, the top 10 finalists for this particular contest. What would you say in terms of percentage? How far are we from this actually happening? We can do this tomorrow. Uh, with the political and economic will to go to the moon tomorrow and grow food and test drive all of the incremental and technical, technical advances that need to be done, uh, we're ready now. So uh, we have the technical expertise, we have the, uh, the, the hardware, we've been de you know, developing it for a long time. So uh, we, we know what not to do, which is probably some of the most important lessons learned and uh, we can deploy this uh, immediately if we had to. Well, that is extremely encouraging and fascinating to learn that we can actually deploy this immediately, and it's all about political will. But we appreciate you joining us, Mike, and we wish you and your students all the very best. You're the director of the Controlled Environment Systems Research Facility at the University of Guelph. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me.